Hey, once again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. In this video, I want to talk about algicides and which kinds to use and which kinds to avoid. Now, um, I've been doing pools since 1999. I had a pool right in Arizona, and I was a pool operator for the YMCA in Oregon for about three years. Um, and I've talked to literally hundreds of people about algicides. Now, I never personally um, used an algicide on my pool route uh, because I kept the water balanced. Uh, but I had other people who wanted to take care of their pools, uh, but they really couldn't on, on a consistent basis. And they wanted to know which kind of algicide to use. And um, so the one that I recommended to them is a Polyquat 60 algicide. Now, many times people use a cheaper, less expensive algicide uh, that have a metal base like copper. Okay, um, I had a bad issue with copper once uh, on my route in Arizona. I picked up a pool that... Um, the previous pool guide that the customer had wasn't doing a good job so he calls me and he's like you know i like you to take care of my pool but you know it it's kind of messed up and he had this he had a vinyl liner and he had this like sticky gooey substance on his liner and i was like this is really weird i've never seen this before what is this well i after a little research i realized that, that the pool guy was using uh, a copper algicide. And copper reacted with what's called plasticizers in the vinyl liner. And plasticizers, to the best of my knowledge, is used in the production of the vinyl liners to make them soft and pliable uh, and so they can be easily installed. Well, this reaction happens and out pops this sticky, gooey substance. And I had to clear that up, uh, and he he w wanted me to use an algicide, and I said, well, you know, you really don't need one. I'm going to balance the pool, um, but if you want to, you can use a Polyquat 60. And now Polyquat 60 is a little more expensive, but it really is worth it. So if you plan on using an algicide, and some people in Oregon. Um, used a Polyquat 60 as well. They were using a copper uh, based algicide and I said you really can't do this. You want to use a Polyquat 60. It's safe for all kinds of pools. It's safe for vinyl liners and it won't cause... It. It's called pool goo or pool tar um, and it's pretty nasty stuff and, and you know it takes a while to get rid of. Uh, so if you're looking for an algicide and wondering what kind of algicide to use, again I'm going to say it again, Use a Polyquat 60. Don't use a copper-based algicide because also uh, by continuously dosing your pool with copper, you have a chance of metal staining as well. And the Polyquat 60 won't do that. Um, <clears throat> I had a customer that uh, that I went over to his house and he had a fiberglass pool and he had metal stains. And I did did the test, you know, to be sure it wasn't algae. And I did the vitamin C test for metal stains, and it turned out to be metal stains. And he was he, he was perplexed. He was confused because he didn't understand why he had metal stains in his fiberglass pool when he was on city water. And it took me about three seconds to say, are you using a copper algicide? And he said, yes. And I said, that's your problem. I said, we, we looked at the bottle, and he said, yeah, you know, I've been using, you know, two, two and a half bottles every single week for quite a few months. And I said, this is why you have metal staining. So, anyway, that's my personal experience with algicides. Uh, simply use a Polyquat 60. So, check out the description link below, um, uh, or the my, my website link in the description box. So... Lots of great information over there. That's Clean Pool and Spa. Like, subscribe, comment here. And thanks for watching. Hope this was informative to you. Uh, as always, be safe and happy swimming. Bye.